As the mouth of early Marvel comics, Stan Lee receives the lion's share of notoriety for the creation of Spider-Man. Having long taken conceptual authorship, Lee claims to have singly produced a script, which he first offered to collaborator and artist Jack Kirby. But when Lee didn't like the look of Kirby's initial rendition, he then offered it to artist Steve Ditko. Kirby, however, claims that he and Joe Simon first devised the initial concepts for Spider-Man with a pair of unpublished characters, Night Fighter and the Silver Spider. The latter was reworked into 1959's The Adventures of the Fly, the lead of which possessed insect-derived powers and a sixth sense exactly like Spidey. Kirby further asserts that he reworked and presented these core ideas to Lee as Spider-Man. Cartoonist Steve Ditko says Stan gave him a script based on a Kirby character that he then changed after noticing the strong visual and conceptual resemblance to the fly. Presumably at the layout stage, Ditko moved Peter Parker's origin away from the power transformation ring or some silly like that, and towards the familiar spider bite. He also reworked Kirby's initial costume design, most notably adding the mask to cover Peter's face. And all that sounds nice and neat, but yo, what's this Ben Cooper Halloween costume from the early 60s? The truth, it seems, is indeed a tangled web. But then again, does it really matter who Spidey's dad is? Aunt May and Uncle Ben did all the work.